Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here, and we're gonna get ourselves a good, good Monday. Is it Monday today? No, it's Tuesday today. We're gonna have a good Tuesday. We got ourselves a little TVZ in the upper right hand corner of this map. We got ourselves a man who goes by the name of Sun Shident. Sun No, what the? I don't even know what the hell this says. All right, so no. She did it. So no, she did it. Our son, no, she did it. However you want to pronounce that. If you go by the way the capitals are in there, then it doesn't really make any sense. So no, she did it. But son, oh, she did it makes a lot more sense. So we're going to go with that place for Team TE, which actually I think is Team Elite, which would put him on a few guys I happen to know of. In the lower left-hand corner, playing <laughs> as the Blue Zerg is for Team W Clock. It will be Honey Badger. I love Honey Badgers. They just bring back memories of NBA Jam, the new HD revamped edition I've played much of, and you can't play. See, Honey Badgers, they're pretty damn sweet here. Son! No, she did it! <laughs> Son, she did it. I don't even like this name. I'm going to come up with some sort of nickname that shortens it up here. But he's going to start off himself off with the standard Terran Wall. That Zerg's going to get down there. be more than annoying. And we'll work on trying to kill that SCV that's building. Of course, he brings over the reinforcing SCV, which should hopefully take care of that uh, drone. It's going to be very close. The drone does give up on that. So very well done by Son, no, she did it. Down the lower corner, he has already gone hatch first, so already off to a quick start getting that nice hatchery out here. Meanwhile, there he's going to send a uh, the SCV just to follow him pretty much down the other end of the map, I would have to imagine. So that will be his scouting SCV more than likely here. There goes the barracks. It is going to finish off for our good man of Sino. She did it. Honey Badger in the meantime there, he's just going to continue to macro this baby up here, does have himself a spawning pool coming down, now you can see the APM tab, I do believe both these players are masters if I recall correctly, so I'm expecting a good one here, I tell you that much, he's going to go for himself with a extractor, good choice by Honey Badger, like to see it my good man, give me a production tab so I can see what's going on, this is going to be a first scout reaper coming out of Sinan, she did it. Uh, so not, not a bad choice at all. I, li I like the Reaper Scout. You're probably not going for a Reaper Harass, but you never know. He might be looking to do that too. But uh, I love Reaper Scouts for Terran. Very, very handy, especially since you can get him out right off the bat now. And does look like he is going to stand an SCV down there. So is looking to put an expansion out at some point in time here. Still going to work off just the one gas for the time being. Spawning pool just about finishing up at the other end. Reactor goes down on the barracks of Sanishi Dennett. And it looks like the overlords continue to fly out there, get themselves some good map control, keep an eye on what's going on here. There's one overlord getting into the base. In the meantime here, at the other end, he is going off one gas, not going gas heavy by no means. Just got himself working with the one worker on that current gas. Couple queens on the go here. Maybe a little bit on the queens, or a little bit late on the queens if I have to give him any recommendation. Reaper's already out going to work. Dog's about to get out there. They'll easily get rid of that harassing Reaper. And I'm going to have a cup of coffee because it's not energy drinks, it's coffee today. Mm, mm, mm. Had myself some Baker Hour shifts today, working the 8 to 5. Like it, love it, love to be off early, or somewhat early compared to shifts I normally get. There we go, looks like Sanoshi Dennett's going to plant himself down a good old expansion there. Meantime, Overlord slowly getting his way down to the other end of the map, and we are going to go ourselves with a factory, looks like a 1-1-1 one, one, one build. We'll go Barracks Factory right into his starport. I would have to imagine, unless he's going to go mech heavy, then we'll follow it up with a second Barracks. We'll have to wait and find that out here. Still only mining off, uh, actually not mining gas at all. <laughs> so uh, basically went from mining a tiny bit of gas to not getting any at all. Was looking, I guess, to get enough just to get out his metabolic boost. Um, so obviously he's looking to go fairly dog heavy early. It, it's looking like based on what he's trying so far here. Say so he just got enough gas so he can get out the metabolic boost. So I imagine he's just going to start pumping dogs out. A little bit surprised he hasn't got a macro hatch if that's what he wants to try as a, a timing push here with dogs. But who knows, maybe he doesn't need that third hatcher to get the timing. Creep spread is starting as well there. In the meantime there, we are going to get ourselves our third command center out. It's going to be used as a wall for now and probably be used to macro up that bottom base. Until he's ready to expand with it there. A couple bunkers going down. I like that wall actually. It's fairly decent. It. Unless he's going to use this as a planetary, I highly doubt it. You usually don't see that in this high end of play for a wall off. Um, but you never know. Like I say, it would be fairly unique if it does end up happening there. And it looks like we are getting ourselves down a second factory. So there you go. Already surprising. We're going to get a little bit mech heavy or possibly go into a widow mine type matchup. We'll have to wait and find that out here. Creep spread looking pretty darn good there. Slowly getting it all across the map. Uh, in the meantime, their metal ball boost will be finishing up. So now we're going to find out whether or not that is the plan. Is he going to start pumping a ton of dogs? So he's only got 12 right now. So I'm not entirely sure. 
Um, like I say, not entirely sure his purpose of grabbing that gas and then getting off it right away. I guess maybe you just want to get more heavy on the minerals right off the bat there with a the few extra workers. Uh, but either way, I'm sure he's got some form of a plan, I would have to imagine. I mean, he is a honey badger. Honey badgers are freaking smart. In case you've ever seen the honey badger video, they're damn smart. It does look like we're going to finish off that good old command center. And it is going to be a little bit of hellion control here to start this off here. I do like to see that there. This tech lab is very lonesome. Needs a little friend. Uh, maybe a barracks, maybe a factory, but either way, it looks like we got ourselves a little bit of action. He's still continuing. He had a couple Reaper, probably a Reaper down there, I do believe there. I don't know how I missed it there. Probably was uh, more paying attention to the lonely little tech lab down there. Over here, it does look like we have a dog. He's kind of keeping an eye, making sure he knows where a third is. Overlords are all over here. They're kind of having a little gathering. Uh, nobody quite keeping an eye on this third. And, of course, with this third finishing up, it will keep the Zerg up one base, which is exactly where, where you want to be when you are playing a Zerg. And did get into an Arbol, so he is just going to use it to macro up that second base. In the meantime, Hellions are ready to go here. He's got five of them on the map here. Five Hellions will be pumping them right across the map here. We'll grab control of that. After taking out to the one dog, burnt him to a crisp. I like my dogs fried, if you know what I mean. And over here we do have a, looks like a probe transfer of some form with the Baneling Nest. Good choice, son. Love to see it. We're going to go Baneling dogs nice and early in this one. Way up here, Overlord starting to scout. Does look like we are ready to move our way out here. Might catch himself a queen, but queens will eat up hellions. I'll tell you that, right? Queens have so much armor that hellions really, they don't like queens at all. So they're actually going to take off out of here. Trying to get some drone kills. Ah, he's got a nice little pile of dogs waiting to be roasted. Oh, it's going to get nasty. Those dogs can't really do a whole lot. He's trying to get himself out of Spore Core. Might force the cancel. Maybe not good. Micro out of both these guys so far. Looking pretty good. Trying to get a few more shots off. No shots on the dogs. Does turn one shot there. Four dogs roast. Oh, that sucks for the dogs. Either way, there he's going to move himself right back up here. Keep himself on the high ground there. Has done a decent job so far. Only taken one shot from the queen. So, pretty good job as far as the Hellion goes. Does have zero, three. There's a good Hellion there. Three kills out of that one. What a masterful player. Well, has uh, two out of that one there. Three out of that. And three. Uh, three, three, and two. So, that's eight kills out of those Hellions. Not looking too, too shabby. And the expansion going off. Oh, baby. Ah, oh, the Widow Mines have arrived. And I freaking love Widow Mines. In the meantime, their opponent looks like he's ready to move out here. He's got a lot of... Oh, I don't know if you want to engage with that many Hellions there. Ah, so doesn't have blue flame as of yet. A little bit surprising. Might want to look to get that, but he might just be looking to keep these guys to get map control until he gets the count of Widow Mines, apparently, which is going to be his choice here. And here we go. It's time. Seven Widow Mines are going to start moving across the map here. Overlord does scope the expansion, so realizes that his opponent is on three. You don't want to let the Terran get the three base against you. Terran can start doing some nasty damage against dogs or any nasty damage against any sort of Zerg player, especially if they're at the same amount of bases that you're at. So I have to imagine he's going to look to expand here. Oh, tries to bring the dogs in, and that is a roasted pile of dogs you see there. Very, oh, no, the, oh, oh, nasty. <laughs> the Widow Mines actually did more damage to his Hellions, real, really, than they did to the dogs. <laughs> Uh, those Hellions at this point, they're pretty expendable. He's just looking to try and get... Well, maybe not now. I don't know, man. I don't know why he continues to go towards those Widow Mines one more time. But at the same time there, um, once... once So, no, she did it there. Gets uh, macroed up here with a ton of... Um, a ton of his... Uh, what the hell are those called? SCVs. It might be a good idea from the Wanderer dog in there because the splash damage alone is going to start roasting up on those SCVs. But at the same time, he is really walling off. You're going to get a bunch more supply depots down there. Very good choice to get that walled off. Keep those dogs out for the time being. It even gives him the option to plant a couple of widow mines right in behind there. And look at that creep spread. Looking damn good, son. Almost got himself halfway across the map here. And he has finally got his fourth out. So he will keep himself one base up on his opponent here. I love widow mines. 18 of them on the map. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. We're getting serious. Mutas have hit the field, as you can see now. Four mutas are out there now. He's working on the double Evo. Not looking too, too shabby over here. So he is electing to go into a somewhat heavy of a muta build. Mutas are not the counter to Widow Mines. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, mutas get eaten up by Widow Mines. So a little bit surprising of that choice. But either way, I I'm sure he's got a better plan than what I would come up with here. So he's going to start moving across the map there with these good old mutas here. We'll see where about that gets him here. Ah, uh, does look like he is going to get himself right into the back of the mineral line there. And yep, yep, I see where this is going. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. <laughs> Just nasty. Dude, I tried to tell you, man. Mutas, Mutas of Widow Mines, not a good combo. But either way, I mean, you know, he did come out of it. Now he's still alive. We do have a Widow Mine over here, so very good job there. Did I miss a Widow Mine dropper? Did he walk that son of a gun over there? I'm not entirely sure. 
But either way, there, where the hell did the rest of them go? There they are over there. I'll have to keep an eye on these little mines. They're just going to work. He's dropping them all over the place. So he's going to basically delay any sort of mining from happening on here. Has got himself a boatload of uh, unit kills there. As you can see, wow. Woohoo! 2,900 bucks to 800. And of course, the 51 to the 8. <laughs> there goes some more going down there. Like it. I love it. And I want some more of it for all you Tim McGraw fans out there. Wowzer. Widow Mines are my. Well, I don't say they're. Pro yeah, they're probably my favorite Terran unit. About to choose a Terran unit. And here we go. Widow Mines are all getting together now. They're going to come up with some sort of a plan. There's a bunch more. This is like straight Widow Mines. What does he have anything under Widow Mines? Four Marines. So there you go. We have 32 Widow Mines and four Marines. And what are we going to do here? Oh, splitting off the dogs. Very good move there. He's looking to go right for that uh right for that middle line oh it does get buried there goes most of the dogs there and of course we do now do have the mutas coming in here he's gonna try and get burled right around the queen out goes the queen pretty darn quick here so he's gonna continue to move around here mutas and uh overseer do end up cleaning up those widow mines here uh he's freaking widow mines everywhere it's gonna be tough to follow this man here and here we go with the quick burl of course he does have that upgrade very good job there and the other one is gonna end up going off there on the uh good old overseer so it doesn't really do a ton oh nasty Oh, we're trading banelings and dogs for widow mines with that trade off there. Not that bad, actually. That, that's not a bad trade off. I let me work that in my head there. I'd say the guy that had uh, actually say pretty even there. So we'll need to get Brody here. Does have a lot of mutas here, but has three widow mines ready to launch off here. Has a couple more. Did forget to burrow them, so that's a little bit of a mistake there. But the overseer ends up going down there. So very good job there, which will disable those mutas from being able to find the last of the widow mines that are sitting there. Down the other end, you see we are compiling a shit. How many factories? I'm just curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like it. That's awesome. Seven factories just pumping widow mines out here. And he's seriously just going straight widow mines. He's really, he's really not backing out of this one here. So we'll find out if this is gonna work for him. He's pumping a ton out. The crease spread's slowly getting further across the map here. Opponent's still sticking to the mutas, like I say, a little bit surprising. He's not getting into an ultra type builder. That'll probably be my choice, but then again, I like I say, I'm not this high high of a level, so it might not be the best play. So that is going to slowly move across and burrow at the same time. So he's going to try and leave a trail of Widow Mines. Oh, good job there. Doesn't even end up losing that Widow Mine there. So slowly just taking map control. Just Widow Mines all over the place there. At the same time, if Buddy goes out with uh, Broodlords, even Broodlords and an Overseer might be an idea. Oh, good burrowing spot. will force everybody back there. He's trying to split off one at a time here. Is this going to work? Oh, man. He's just losing Banelings. Oh, wowzer. Just losing Banelings left, right, and center. There's the Mutas trying to get in there. Oh, those Mutas took a pretty nasty hit there. But either way, they're... It the more they move across the map here, the worse it's going to get. There's just so many widow mines buried everywhere, even more up here. Like, this is not going to go overly well. He's really got to figure out how he wants to get across the map. Move around the outside, especially if you have mutas, would probably be my recommendation. Obviously, our opponent, of so Sunoshi Dent, there has a lot of turrets on the map. So he, he's definitely got the uh, defense, if need be, there at each one of his bases. But he's going to try anyways. Does look like he is going to move towards the outside here. Look to establish himself one more base. In the meantime there, we do have some sort of widow mine drop happening over here four widow mines are sitting in this medevac it's like I, we are getting attacks over there but i'm very curious to see what's going to happen here he's burrowing right in the right in the backdrop here he's going to start losing a lot of uh a lot of drones here making them focus all over the map here do have some more moving widow mines they're trying to get out swarm hosts have been buried down here scan six scan i love it very quick on that good micro uh coming out of him here he does have all the swarm hosts over here needs to get an overseer over there has an overseer but wasn't too too sure if any of them had fired off uh as of yet there so good job there getting them in we'll end up cleaning up in the meantime there we have recharged with these ones here oh one goes out the second one's gonna end up going off here oh nasty dude that's another seven kills. Well done with that one there. And it looks like the Mutas are going to move out here. They're going to head out here. Good job getting the Swarm Host out there by Honey Badger. Not looking that bad at all. He's actually accumulating a bit of an army. Uh, might be might be a good choice. He needs to start getting some form of map control so he can prevent these Widow Mines from just running them over here. As you can see, they're continuing to go off in the background here. Just beating down his opponent. Honey Badger needs to get over here with some sort of vision. Uh, it has the Spore Car, but it's just out of position. Might want to look at getting that Spore Car moved there. Oh, there's some more going down just losing these swarm most left right and center can't allow these to recharge here oh there's another one going down there oh there's another one going down there there's a scan going down but he's got nothing left to fire off here once these three recharge i'd have to imagine we're gonna get one more scan here but in the meantime we are getting attacked up here but more widow mines everywhere he goes there's widow mines here's widow mine there's a widow mine everywhere freaking widow mines here and now if he gets his scan off here in about two and a half seconds he's gonna have the ability to probably take out most of these swarm most here we'll see whether or not he's paying attention over here yes he is obviously 
quickly. So he's probably going to look to run the scan now that he can see exactly where all these guys are. And does he run the scan or does he kick back on it? Oh, there goes a few dogs get caught out of position there. Swarm host coming out. Overseer is out now. So now he needs to run the scan. Otherwise, he's going to lose every single one of these. And they're just going to go off on the swarm host, which will be absolutely pointless. So it does lose most of them. In the meantime, there, they're trying to get in the base here. He's got a couple of wood mines with a... Uh, with a good old um, planetary forces, which is probably a good idea. So that will at least prevent his opponent from being able to get in there. Now he's finally gotten into some Hellbats and some Battlecruisers. So he's finally gotten out of the straight Widowmine type build here. In the meantime, there he is flying all of his mutas back across the map here. And is continuing to push forward with these Locusts. They're going to try and do as much damage as they can. Whether or not they can get in the base, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not too, too confident that they can. Widowmines are just on the outskirts of these swarm holes here. So... Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. You better get yourself up there. There we go. Launches off. Kills most of them. Planetary in the background. Very good choice, like I say, when you're defending against Swarm Host. Uh, allows you to build up your army at the same time, knowing that the Swarm Host won't be able to get through you for quite a long time. It will take him a little while, especially if it's repairing SCVs. It's exactly what's going to happen. There's the Hellbats starting to build up now. Ah, oh, that was good coffee. So he's going to continue to fry him in the background there. Roast these babies up there. Good job on the repairing. Here comes my friends. Hey, friends. What do you think we bro here? Oh boy! Oh nasty! Didn't do as much damage as he could. I'd say the opponent got pretty lucky with there, especially since that was six of them going off. So they're looking to recharge there. Needs to get a little bit closer so he can take out the few that are buried there. I'm not entirely sure if he's actually focusing his attention down here because he does have six and if he lets them recharge he is going to be in a lot of trouble i really hope he's paying attention here or this may not look so good son he's even got seven oh there we go just in time i will say that much there oh doesn't quite realize it oh the scan is down oh no oh nasty three more going down there looking pretty good just continues to lose swarm host in the meantime there it does look like he cleaned up a little bit of widow mine over there very good job a couple more widow mines are over here are getting ready to recharge oh they could pick off some mo oh no oh no oh no oh no oh it's gonna be close oh this isn't gonna look so good oh nasty <laughs> i love it Wow, 17 kills out of them so far. Oh, and the battle cruisers have arrived. Battle cruisers are here. They should have like an even deeper voice than Thor's. Battle crews are just wrecking machines, so he's going to try and get out of here, see whether or not they're going to be enough. He does have 11 muters and 13 swarm most with 7 overseers. Good overseer count now, I will say that much here. One of them was about to go down there, so it does kill off that overseer. Who's got the advantage here? I don't know. It's a pretty darn tough call. Well, actually, let's take a look here. What do we have as far as the upgrades go? We have 2-1 for the upgrades over there. Meanwhile, at the other end here, where the hell are your mutas? There's the mutas. He's got himself 1-2 as well, so fairly even on the upgrade count. Here we go with the Hellbats. They're going to work over here. Does have a bunch of mutas up there, plus some corruptors to help deal with these battle cruisers. So he's going to try and clean up the uh, good old Hellbats with his... Uh, with his muta list there. Meanwhile, the battle cruisers are starting to move themselves back here. We're not entirely sure where the hell these guys are going. They, they're a little bit bored, apparently. They're going to head themselves back to base. In the meantime, there he does leave these guys down here. They're not a widow mine getting some more kills. Very well done. Have himself up 13 and 6. Not too shabby. In the meantime, there we do have a few more Halbats trying to make their way down there. Where the hell are these battle cruisers going? <laughs> these battle, am I missing something up here? Okay, these battlecruisers apparently find themselves back to base to regroup, I guess. They're so, yeah, yeah, they're all coming back. Okay, maybe not a bad idea in all honesty. Doesn't want to lose too many of them there. Might want to compile them into a great big big group so he's got a uh, fair decent of an option. I mean, in the meantime, their Hellbats are still going to work. Just wreaking havoc over here. He's got one queen left. That queen's going to end up going down. Then they're just going to have a free day on all these uh, good old drones down here. In the meantime, there he does have a few SCVs. They kill off a couple of dogs probably over there. So very well done there. And a couple more SCVs are trying to move around. Try and look for somewhere to expand, I would have to imagine there. There's the Hellbats wreaking havoc and all the drones they want down here. Nothing the opponent can do. And there's some more SCVs. Apparently he's attacking with SCVs now. They're part of his army. Swarm host are trying to get Bird down here. Has himself with five Ravens on the field as well. 13 Corruptors though. And we have gotten to Broodlords. Very good choice. Definitely probably what I would have recommended here, especially with, with what he's up against. So not too shabby of an idea. Locus is going to try and push their way in the base here. Here comes some more Widow Mine action. There goes some. Oh, takes out a few Locusts at the very least there. And now they're going to try and go to work on the planetary. But at the same time, like I say, planetary is going to melt these, especially if they start to get healed again there. Might not be the best of options. Continuing to lose units to these uh, good old Widow Mines, which are just buried all over the place. In the meantime, he has got himself up. 
Um, oh, actually, he's still got himself at the eight uh, battle cruises, but has accumulated a little bit of help from the Ravens. Ravens are electing to go backwards. Ravens are electing to go back forwards again here. Battle Cruise is going to work here. Let's see what they can do here. I have to imagine Seeker Missile is going to start hitting pretty darn quick here if he doesn't get out of there. Point Defense Drone's going down as well here. They're going to clean up the rest of the Locust. Has Widow Mines buried. Very good compilation. I will say that much here. And they're looking at Oh, they might have caught two Battle Cruises out of position there. There goes two Battle Cruises down. Very good job there. Uh, in the meantime, they're still continuing with the Swarm Host. But the Battle Cruises are going to go to work here. See what kind of damage you need. Yamato Cannon's going down there. And Broodlords are also over in that little mixture here. And did he actually... Oh, Seeker Missiles everywhere. No, not looking good at all. Broodlords caught out of position being so damn slow. Gonna end up losing these Broodlords to these few battle cruisers on the map. But it does look like the opponent in the meantime is really pushing. Has actually got the kill on the one base there. So very good job. Decent control of his swarm host. I will tell you that much here. And it does look like infestors have hit the map. So I imagine we're going to see some fungo go down here pretty darn quick. And he is retreating everybody back. Very uh, good job there. A lot of SCVs coming over and transferring. In the meantime there he has quite a few corruptors. Also has a viper on the field. So not looking too too shabby. One viking finally has hit the field as well here. So probably a good idea. Definitely get them out there. They might help with a little bit of air superiority. Since that is the way we were going going trying to kill the creep spread here in the meantime there he has got his command center down i imagine we're going straight in the planetary with that at some point here in the meantime there these battle cruisers and ravens are trying to take control of the map they're flying over here but oh wow way too many corruptors this might not go overly well it's going to depend on how the seeker missiles hit in all honesty here and it does look like the fungal group uh, the fungal group has ended up going down here and there we go corruptors are going to engage you can see they are almost fully upgraded three and two for the battle cruisers and one and three for the zerg and wowzer Apparently it is no contest ends up getting rid of all these uh, all those corruptors chases them all out of there at the very least here But at the same time there Ravens are continuing to try and deal with these swarm holes here Which isn't going overly well. There's a seeker missile about to hit and is it gonna go off? Oh, widow mines go off instead. I don't think the seeker missile ever made it over here But at the same time he is still controlling this over he does have 192 to 163, 163 for a food lead So not looking too too shabby there in the meantime. We have mind herself out over here He's pretty much mined out everywhere, but he does have a little bit of money in the bank. Uh, so he's got the option to rebuild. That almost ends up losing the good old command center here. At the same time, these two widow mines are about to recharge. But it does look like we're just going to clean them up with the air at the same time here. So we'll clean up the last of the swarm host over here. This is the last of the swarm host on the map altogether. We have ourselves 30 corruptors on the map. I, oh, I'd almost like to say we're almost a little bit corruptor heavy. Same time, he is expanding. Get himself some good old sport crawlers out at the same time. Probably a pretty good idea there. I uh, like to see that. In the meantime there, he has got himself mining some gas over here, but that's about it, really. Until he gets this base up and established, he's not going to have much money to deal with. Hard to 1400 bucks he's got in the bank. It does look like he is ready to move out. Got a lot of, um, uh, a lot of widow mines and a lot of ravens here. So that's where all his money went. So now whether or not he can take these and use them to their fullest potential, we're soon going to find out here. Because if he can do that, he can get the win here. If he doesn't, he's going to be in a lot of trouble knowing that he's being out macroed opponents up a lot of bases here. So we'll soon find out whether or not this is going to work out for him here. So no, she did it. What do you got for us, son? Let's see what you got. Looking like over here, we do have the Hellbash trying to get in the base here. They have, if anything, drawn the entire army over there. There's a good old scan there. He is trying to clean up a few wandering corruptors there. Didn't go overly so well, but the Yamato cannons will definitely do the job. Very good Yamato cannons. And here goes the Widow Mines. They're trying to keep control here, keeping the uh, corruptors out. So very good job there. Vikings are also the help with the air. So we'll soon find out if he can get the proper burrow. Maybe catch his opponent off guard here. Oh, looks like a few locusts have gone down here. Is he going to elect to waste? He doesn't really want to waste the Widow Mines on anything. He wants to kind of waste them on the corruptors is what he's looking for here. Doesn't want to waste them on the swarmos. Oh, if we get a burrow here very quick. Oh, fungal growth. Sick fungal growth, but he's got nothing to kill him with. And that's his issue here. All he's got is corruptors. Needs to fly the corruptors in maybe one at a time. Try and get them all to shoot themselves off here. Or at the very least, get the locusts over there is what I would recommend. But either way, oh, he's going to get a good bro here, quite possibly. Very good job. Does get bro down there. Now, whether or not these can all get off here. Battle Cruiser trying to go to work on the corruptors. Needs to fly him over top of the Widow Mine so we can get some good shots off here. Oh, there's some pretty good shots. Those Widow Mines actually doing a lot of damage. Seeker missiles going down. There goes basically his entire army. And he might have it in the bank. So, no, she did it. Is it going to be there? I think so. But look at the rebuild. Back up to 127. Might still have a chance at the same time as one of his few... Oh, his few money bases. <laughs> this is so retardedly awesome, if you ask me, son. Oh, my congrats go out to Sunoshi Dinit. My condolences to that grumpy son of a gun, Honey Badger. I thought Sunny Badgers were damn happy. Well, now you wrecked my dreams. 
I'm leaving you with this. If it ain't the black coffee, then it ain't right this night. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.